And now for something completely really different. Shit. Hey, what's happening everybody? Hope you guys are feeling great. I'm Team Kills, and what I like to do is make gaming easier. And that's exactly what I want to do today, is clear up any confusion on how to get these monsters. Now, you can't get the Tenant Melee weapons from any sister hunt. You have to go to the greediest corpus guy there is, Mr. Parent Sequence himself, Ergo Glass. You know, the bastard responsible for all that Animus bullshit. Now, he wants to sell you the Tenant weapons. Corpus and their credits. But unfortunately, this one won't cost credits. I'll get to that in one second. Each weapon comes with its own element bonus. It's kind of like a fake progenitor thing, kind of. Now, because you can't choose your progenitor or element, there is a timer that will change after every certain amount of time. And then you could wait if you want to to get the element you're looking for, or you could just pick it and change it later. Now, their percentage on the element bonuses, are they're kind of low so you might have to balance fusion this thing probably two or three times now if you haven't balanced fusion anything yet let me quickly explain that the balance fusion process can be done with any kuva tenant sister lich weapon and the royal jack weapons all you need to do is make sure you have two copies of that weapon and you need to claim them both you can't be in your foundry or in your sister or lich's hands now when you have two copies of them you need to equip the one that you want which is very important next you go to the actions or valence fusion section when you press it you're going to get to this menu and select the level zero version of your weapon after you choose that you're gonna get the next menu that's gonna that you choose your element option if they're different now it doesn't actually matter which element you choose you can stick with the one you got or you can change just for the fun of it, it's going to take the higher number, the higher percentage. No matter what, it's going to go up. Now your percentage bonus is going to max out at 60%. Keep that in mind so you're not wasting your time with the same weapon. Now, for getting the Tenno weapons, Ergo Glass is accepting corrupted hollow keys only. These hollow keys come from Void Storms in the Railjack Fisher menu. So you have to go to the Railjack and then do those Fisher missions. Now you have a 37.5, which is actually pretty high for Warframe, got a 37.5% chance after any of these missions to get some hollow keys once the mission's done. Earth and Venus, you can get two, three, you can get from Neptune, four from Saturn, Pluto has five, and Veal Proxima has six. Veal Proxima is easily the best place to go. I know it says 37%, feels like 50 but it's easily the best place to go to get the most amount of hollow keys. Now I got a video out for you that will make Vil Proxima hunting easy if you need the tips. If not, once again, that's the place to go. And that's the how. The why and the how good these damn things are, those are other videos which I got for you. And besides which weapon is best for you, there really is no bad weapon in these ones. They're all good, but anyhow, if you don't want to miss any of that or miss anything, make sure you join the team of killers. Become a killer of teams. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Make sure you keep it easy in life. And remember, just keep gaming.